All right, now we're talking slope in GeoGebra. So let's say I got a couple of points. Uh, if I'm going from like, I don't know, negative 1, 3 down to 4, negative 1. And I wanted to measure that slope. Well, we look at slope as rise over run. To make it a little easier to visualize this segment, I'm going to go ahead and draw a line there. And if I really wanted to, I could even draw some more lines to help my eyes out. For example, if I put another point right here, and then I drew this line down and this line across, I could even see you know, how much that slope is. And it even tells me here, look at this, for this segment right there, it says that's four units long. And I could even look at it going from three down to negative one, and that would tell me how far that is. It's four units long. The other one is five units long. So what would my slope be then? It'd be four for my rise, five for my run, and it would be negative because it's going downhill. Uh, so that's the basics there, you know, slope. And even if I wanted to move this, hey, check this out. I could just move what I had, and I could make a new triangle. And look at this. Now I got, let's say I'm going from B to C, and that would be six on the rise and six on the run. And even if I wanted to move this down and make another triangle, I could snap it to the grid. Look at this, I got four and seven. It's calculating these numbers for me. So easy. So I don't even have to double check it. It's doing the counting for me. I just have to do the math with the calculation after. All right, so there we go. And that's slope in GeoGebra. Some simple ways to do it.